What's up guys, good morning. Uh, today we're working on a 2015 Chrysler 200. We're gonna do rear brake pads. And in order to do the rear brake pads, this model has the electronic parking brake. Uh, so in order to do the rear brake pads, you actually have to go in and put the parking brake into a service mode. And in order to do that, you just need to get into the screen here. It's pretty simple. Um, you go in to go to apps. As you see here, I'm on the app setting. I'm gonna go to settings. Right here, you're going to see this little tab that says brakes, and then you're going to go to service mode. It's going to go, would you like to retract the park brake to allow brake system service? And you're going to say yes. It's going to initialize brake service. You're going to hear the parking brake retract in the back. And there we go. Parking brake retract it. It's in service mode. The only thing you need to do is turn the car off, leave it as it is and you're free to go to go we'll go get started and show you how to get this done all right we're back outside here we've got the vehicle jacked up uh things you're probably going to need for this job is going to be uh the lug nuts are a 19 millimeter you're going to need a set of sockets set of sockets you're going to need ratchet and pretty sure that this is going to take a 14 millimeter on the back of the caliper. You need a straight saw screwdriver. You're going to need some brake grease and of course you're going to need your brake pads. So let's go ahead and get, already got some of the lug nuts off here. Peel out of our way. All right, so we got our Got our parking brake into service mode. Uh, this is the electronic parking brake unit right here. Uh, you can set, like we, we set this in the service mode already inside in the computer. Uh, that's, you know, when that's available, that's the easiest way to do it. We're just doing pads today on this. Uh, customer what doesn't want to do the rotors. The rotors are, I don't know, they're in a little rough shape, but. Um, so it looks like these caliper bracket bolts are gonna be a 10 millimeter. Yep, so they're gonna be a 10 millimeter. You got one here, and then you got another one that's kind of back behind here, right here, and get those off, um, and then we can get our caliper off and then get it all pushed in. Let's see if I can switch you guys' sides here so you got a better view. Trying to get my knee in the way. There we go. A lot of these newer Chryslers and Jeeps, they have this this little uh, brake line bracket here. So there's just a bolt that goes on top of that. Get that bolt out of the way. It's a 10 millimeter. And you can pull this bracket off. And you don't want to be too forceful with this. This is a metal line. Um, it does have a little bit of give in it. You really just need to get it out of your way enough to get your, your socket on there or your ratchet which I'm gonna need a 10 millimeter. So you are gonna need a pair of pliers. Uh, this little top piece here is spinning. So you're gonna have to hold that in place with a pair of pliers while you break that, break that nut loose. that 
see that's where the nut goes on the outside of that. I'm just gonna set that out of, out of the way. That's the bottom one we're gonna have to grab with their pliers. There we go. out of there just like that you can see the electronic parking brakes attached to the back of the caliper uh, we just need to kind of move this out of the way for now go ahead and get our pads out of there that Some back pads or get a bigger screwdriver hardware replaced. Here. When you pull this off here, make sure you're paying attention to the orientation because these do go in differently. You want to replace one at a time to help keep you uh, keep you headed in the right direction. That's fine. The way I this little back, this little top piece here that comes up, it's going to go to my right. So I'm just going to start snapping these into place. Screwdriver. Make sure it's in there good. Okay. I always spin the rotor before I put the pads in. Make sure nothing's touching it. A lot of times some of these hardware pieces will be touching on the on the rotor and it'll you can go to test drive it, you'll get this super annoying noise, screeching noise, and you'll have to take everything back apart and you don't want to have to do that. So I don't want to have to do that today. Last one that actually give us a little bit of trouble getting in here. Yep. 
They're in there good. Spin the rotor again. I don't hear any high pitch squeaking. Next step is the, we're gonna get this piston pushed in on this caliper. Since we have the parking brake reset, I know these do look like, you can see they have little notches in this piston. It makes it look like these are the twist in style, but they're not. Uh, as long as you have the parking brake reset into service mode, you should have no problem pushing this in with the regular C-clamp or as I'm using the C-channel vice grips, just need to get them in there. Sell a ton of different tools that you can use to do this with. This is just always what I use. See, I'm just going to press it in. It's going in nice and easily. No resistance. And it's in. It's good. Next thing I'm going to do is get my brake grease. I like this Permatex brake grease. I'm going to put some right here, just where the pad touches this. Wherever the pad touches the caliper, that's where you want to put this. You don't need to put the grease all over the whole pad. It's kind of overkill. You just need it where the caliper is going to touch the pad. I'm going to put some back here, Bob Ross style. It's going to be a nice little bird. So, uh, we got everything good, pistons pushed in, pads are in there good. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just set our caliper back in. Get our bottom bolt started. Top bolt. and tight. The top one tight. Break on a little bit out of the way. Nice and tight. Just need to take our bracket that we pulled out of the way. We're gonna put our bracket right back on there. 10 millimeter nut that goes on the back side. Get it tightened up. That's it. It's good to go. Let me get my wrench out of there. There we go. So yeah, that's it. It's good to go. Um, only thing we got left to do now, put the wheels back on. You're gonna go in, uh, you're gonna pump the brakes up real good. You're gonna see the reset this back out of service mode. You just need to press down on the brake pedal and engage the parking brake, and that's gonna clear out the, the uh, maintenance mode procedure, and you're gonna be good to go. Just make sure you got a nice firm pedal, uh, make sure the parking brake is disengaged, and take for a test drive, and you're good. That's it.